Okay, y'all, that cut off. I'm not sure exactly where it did. I didn't even point out to y'all. I put out my little spring candle. This is um, the fragrance. Is um, This is from Bath & Body Works. It's the Champagne Toast. I love that smell. It's just clean but sweet. And I love that. Um, I got some other candles. Maybe I'll do a candle haul. Um, these are actually old candles. I didn't buy them. This is from last year. But And so is this uh, little stand. So y'all may remember it. I think it's so pretty the way that it sparkles. So pretty. It's got little gemstones and glitter. So I just think it's so pretty. Thought y'all might enjoy that. Okay. So what I was showing you on this mascara by Wet n Wild, the Big Papa. What's it called? Yeah, the Big Papa. Um, it's, it's got a little crown around the top. I just think that's so cute. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Okay, this is not waterproof. So on one side, I'm going to do not waterproof. They make a point to talk about this crimped bristles. 500 plus crimped bristles will catch every lash. So we'll see. So I purposely pulled it out to where it went like that. So that you get this little... Uh, I call it like a ice cream top, the little Dairy Queen ice cream top or a little Cupie curl, a little bit on the end. And that's what you want to tip out with. Use that to tip out. Why? Because it's nice and gooey and wet so it'll catch the end of the lashes. And you want to catch the end of the lashes because that's what you're coming out to. But you really, when you do this, because, you know, I did just use an eyelash curler, it's going to get all back in there if you don't squint. Let's just see what's such a great thing about this uh, this big papa. Um, they're saying because there's so many little crimped bristles that it will catch every single lash. And can I tell you, I feel like it has. It is just grabbing every single lash. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. I got a big chunk right there. So on there, we got it. Well, now I really wish they would make this in waterproof, but this is pretty good for every day uh, when you don't want to have waterproof because it's just too hard to get off at the end of the day and, you know, you weren't even really seeing anybody. But some people say, well, then I wouldn't put on makeup. I always put on makeup. I don't think I ever would not. For one thing, my husband comes home, I want to look pretty and made up. Not just natural pretty. I want to look like I went to some trouble for him. That's just the way I am. Okay. So the other side is this is the um, Air Volume mega mascara by l'oreal and we are also going to do that one but on the other eye and see which one we like better so this is non-waterproof big papa wet wild and this is waterproof air volume by l'oreal i have seen so many commercials have y'all where she goes wow like that and she throws it and it goes up to the empire state building or some sort of a high, um, high rise in the city tip plot goes really really high i guess anyway um, so here's the packaging. It's it's kind of interesting shape and the pretty mauve, nude mauve look, if you'll see. And then that metallic pink is, is just a really popular because people like it. And then they always do a blue tone when it is um, waterproof. So listen for the little, here, you want that little, I don't feel like I got enough. You want some goo on the end because that's what you tip out with. Always tip your lashes first. Because that makes sure when people look at you from the side that you don't have little tip-ins that you missed. Because you just went, jink, 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 you got underneath, but you didn't get the tip-ins. Also, it gives the mascara that when you're raking it off the lash, you know, you load it first and then you rake it back off. Um, that's why the brushes matter. Um, so there's one little hair that keeps trying to be there. All right, so I'm just going to wiggle a little bit and just slowly squint so that it doesn't get back up in here. So I'll use that lash curler. I'm even trying to close my eyes to keep it from doing that. It seems a little bit drier. It's a different shape of brush. But the thing about waterproof, it is going to be drier. Why? That's how it works, y'all. It dries really quick and seals it. And so it really seals the crimping that you did with the eyelash curler. That's one reason why your eyelashes stand up better. And it makes it where when you do the second and third coats, it really holds the shape. And it really thickens up from the formula uh, over and over and over, like the second third coat or second coat at least. Um, this would be not bad just by itself if, or one coat, just so you know. It's doing really well. And I also tip the ends if I really want to make them demonstrative. Some people are saying older ladies 
shouldn't even do lower lashes. I couldn't disagree with that more. I think you should definitely have lashes above and below. And no, I don't think it drags it down to have lashes below. I'll tell you what drags it down. Age. And all the mascara not being used in the world will not take away from the fact that, yes, your eyes go down. Um, and sometimes they'll do these comparison shots. They'll say, see how it drags it down? And it's almost like they made it drag it down. I don't know. That's, I don't know. I disagree. I don't. I think you definitely should always wear lower lash mascara. I think it looks unfinished. Not to. It's not like people don't know. That's not your real eyelash. As you can see, the mascara, that's the whole point is it looks made up. You look more finished. Otherwise, if you want to look more natural, go natural. <laughs> Just go natural. <laughs> Just be natural if you want to be natural. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to have a made-up look. But to me, the whole point of wearing makeup is to have a made-up look. Not overly made up. Now, this is kind of an overly made up because they're dark colors. And so these are not natural tones. Okay? And... I don't have one base. I did use a powder finish. Um, so this is the look. Um, what I can do, if it, if it would help y'all to get a real look for this mascara, especially the Big Papa, is I will do a second coat so that we can see. Look how much. That's good. Y'all, this looks like good mascara. And again, Wet and Wild, they're winning. Wet and Wild's win winning. And I'll tell you, part of the reason they win is they're very inexpensive. And almost every drugstore does carry Wet and Wild. Some don't, just like they don't all carry Rimmel. And I'll tell you why, I figured out why this is, because y'all know I love the Rimmel under eye concealer, the best of all the concealers that I've had, ever. Even the really high-end ones. Maybe Givenchy could give it a run for its money, but then when you look at the money, there's a huge difference. Um, I have noticed that the drugstores are honing down their inventory, and I think it's because... Um, they're trying to stick with the four major brands. CoverGirl, Maybelline, L'Oreal, and um, here's the other big one. And then they'll have touchings of others, maybe, like Neutrogena and sometimes Wet n Wild and Rimmel. Who am I not thinking of? It's another major brand. But I have noticed there's like four or five major brands. And then maybe a touch, like one foot wide and then down to the floor of a, a off-brand. Or, or, or maybe I would say a less... Maybe it's less margin. Maybe that's why it's inexpensive. And they need more margin right now, which I understand. The country's st struggling to stay afloat, and so they're hoping you'll be willing to pay that extra margin because that's how they make a profit, y'all. And there's nothing wrong with making a profit. When people say, well, they're just making a profit on me. They just have allowed margin. Yes, they do allow margin. That's how people make money. That's how companies make money, even big companies that employ little people. So don't put the big companies down. <laughs> That's who employs everybody else. Even the little the little business people are the ones that are employing the rest of us. So, um, okay, and I'm just gonna. Oh, do you see what I just did? I went over that. And can I tell you, it looks really good. Y'all, I gotta say, of the two, I'm really, really impressed with this big papa. Now again. For the everyday um, when you don't want waterproof. Because I'm going to tell you, it will be harder to get this off on this side because it's waterproof. But I use Neutrogena, even waterproof, mascara, uh, waterproof remover, and I have no problem getting it off. It just takes, you know, maybe about five, ten rubs, and then you can start, you know, getting it off. Uh, I did use the Big Pop over here, and the difference is these are standing up better because of the waterproof. I can tell you right now. It's holding its shape, like meaning the fanned out shape is clearly better on this eye, on the upper lashes. Do you see how these are going up more and these are kind of kind of going up? That's because of the waterproof. It's holding them up because it dries really fast and it's got either a wax base or alcohols in it, whatever it is that causes it to dry down really quick. And that's why there is a very obvious difference to me. Like these are up. These are definite. You can see them. The mascara is showing them off, but they're not up that much. Big difference. And also, this actually looks a little thicker. And that's because, yes, we use the big pop-up, but it's really because we use this. So it just depends on the look you want. This is fine for the day. As a matter of fact, <laughs> because I actually do have some video today, I, am, uh, I have about four meetings left today. This is a long day. 
it's hard to get work done. <laughs> and I feel for my bosses because I'm actually setting up their day to be that. I'm going to see if maybe if this will make a difference to make them look a little thicker and a little more stood up to put them in the waterproof on this side too. But yeah, these are both great mascaras, y'all. I would highly recommend them. I do like this. I see why they're... And, and again, if you wanted to, I would bet, we can use this tomorrow, I would bet that this, um, what's it called, air volume in the non-waterproof will be, you know, the only difference will be that it doesn't stand it up, just like that waterproof does, but it looks like it's a good formula. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, honestly, if I had to pick, um, I would definitely say, get yourself some of this. This is the Wet n' Wild Big Papa. That's good if you don't like waterproof. And then if you do like waterproof, I would definitely recommend this. I like the brush. I like the formula. And it's drugstore. And also, we'll try this one out, the non-waterproof one tomorrow to see how does it do. I will tell you right now one thing that I'm noticing about the Maybelline Superstay. The difference in this and my Chanel is I already feel really dried out. The color dried out really fast and putting the 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 shine piece the well, I always say the petroleum jelly over it it just it helps a little bit right there right on the inside edge of your mouth I can just feel that when that dries out and eventually will it is going to start coming off yeah you know little pieces little peely pieces I was doing the um what was I doing the other day I was doing a um, devotional and then those devotional pieces are you like getting on my tongue and falling off. I was like, oh gosh, shouldn't have used that. And the product was, um, it wasn't either one of these. It wasn't Chanel or Maybelline. It was, um, I can't remember. I should tell you because it didn't turn out well as the day went on. But this is my Chanel. Or I should do it this way. So the 